to offer this mass for the special intentions of the parishioners of St. Peter and James. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us now call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess. Persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the age of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed them out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked these people are. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze upon your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power? It was so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent, he brought them out, that he might kill them in the, in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. <coughs> Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the star stars in the sky and all this land that I promised. I will give you this, your descendants as their virtual heritage so the Lord re relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Response all your song. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Arab and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass eating bulk. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember the Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, would stood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember the Lord, as you favor your people. Gospel acclamation. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Glory to the Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. Glory to you, Lord of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamb, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have, I have testimony greater than John's the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them, even though they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. As we heard very well in our first reading, it's about idolatry. That the, the, the Israelites are down the mountain and Moses is still up with God, talking with God. When he comes down, he already finds they have already replaced the Supreme God with, with, the, with the calf, with the calf under the leadership of Moses' assistant, Aaron. Whether we practice idolatry today is, 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 is also an important question to ponder about. Because where do we, where, where, where do we spend our time? Where, on what we spend our time? On what we spend our energy? On what we spend our our, our, our resources, our resources on. You know, that may be the object which, which we worship today, which we worship today. So idolatry is something that probably seems to accompany the human being even up to today. There may not be a cult that we put the, out there to worship, but when you ask these fundamental questions, where do you spend your, most of your time? Where do you, to what do you spend most of your energy? To what do you spend most of the, resource, most of the resources you have? Yeah. Where do you have your allegiance to? Then, 
sometimes it amazes me when we have, for example, the, 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 the football, soccer in, 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 in Europe and so forth, you find there are more people in the fields down there in the soccer, spending almost the whole of their time there than, than spending it in the, in the, in the church worshipping God. So where do you spend your time? Where do you put your resources? Where do you put your energy? That may be the object that you are worshipping and not the real God. As I said yesterday in the Gospels, we shall be hearing from the Gospel of John, and it will be basically about controversies between Jesus and the Jews about different subjects, about different subjects, yeah. About Jesus' divinity, about his mission, his relationship with the Father, whether the scriptures testify to him or not, and today Jesus is arguing about that, that if they really believe in Moses, they should be believing in him, because Moses also wrote about him, and the scriptures testify about him. Now, if they did not believe in Moses, they did not keep his word, how can they even keep Christ's word? So we shall continue to hear these testimonies, these controversies between Jesus and the Jews. And as I said yesterday, they signal, they point to the difficulty the people had in, in, in accepting the message of Jesus in accepting the identity of Jesus. And such a difficulty, such a situation exists even up to today. People still find it very difficult to accept the, 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 the message, the identity, the person, the person of Christ. If it were not so, then the world would be now, the world would be something different from what we are witnessing and seeing. So I want to pray that the Lord may give us the spirit, the understanding to accept Christ as the Son of God sent to, live, to liberate us from all sorts of sin and imprisonment. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions. We shall respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For church leaders, may the Lord bless their efforts to guide their flocks in his saving work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all people and nations of the world, May the peace of Christ reign in their lands and in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord For victims of violence and, and abuse, may the power of God's healing, may the power of God's healing love bring them to safety and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord For those who are preparing to enter the church this Easter, may God and the prayers of his community Strengthen them on this journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, our brothers and sisters and relatives and friends and parishioners, may God's love and mercy surround them and bring them to his everlasting kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us have a moment of silence for our personal petitions. Ask all these through Christ our Lord.
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every sin, and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together in exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of the heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Hosanna in are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim in the Netherlands and the Provincial Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy Dolan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Confidence we pray together. Our Father,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilt conscience may glory in the fullness of every day we live in, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Have a blessed day.